We're back once again with another Iron Man video and because of the new spells from the city of Sentistan requiring a lot of runes, you can see that right here for example 4 runes right there for the anime dead, I really want to get a large rune pouch because I don't have one at all and making the small one is kind of bad because it only can store 2 different runes. The large one can actually seal three different ones, so for example all of these three could just take up one single spot. But for that I need 100 magical thread and I also need 90 runecrafting, which I do believe should be boostable. So that shouldn't be a problem, but uh, I have to do some abyss runecrafting to start off the video to get that 100 magical thread done. I actually went ahead and bought the full Master Runecraft gear as well for the 5% bonus experience. I don't have the full ethereal outfit anyways, so I can't store any runescence in that. So might as well just use this more experienced thing, 1.6k in a drop. And I don't have a famili familiar right now that can carry essences for me. I should probably get one before I get into this grind because it could take a while. There's no difference in what runes I make for the chance of getting magical thread. It's just uh, how many pure essence I use. I'm just going to make a bunch of different runes because I'm running out on a lot of them. For example, water runes, uh, nature runes for alking, fire runes, body runes. Mostly to make wiswax because uh, not having all the types of runes is really annoying and you miss out on Wiswax some days so I'm just going to make a bunch of different runes currently by the way 140,000 runecrafting experience in very unexpected I just reached half a billion experience on the account and I'm actually getting pretty close to done with this I think this is number 86 magical thread and after this we will go over all the runes I currently have in the bank which is going to be quite the difference from when I started Got the 100 magical threads and now I just need to get a runecrafting boost for the 90 so I can actually make it. Also by the way this is worth like 19 mil because they are 190k each. So 19 mil in magical threads. Also I used like 20,000 pure essence to make the runes I have. You can look at what runes I have right now. I had a very low amount of most of the runes except for I had like 8,000 blood runes but I made even more of them because Using the exsanguinate spell I want to use in the like basically now is very expensive because on other abilities it's only going to take the runes on an auto hit. So if I would use blood barrage, every single uh, ability I would do would not take any runes, but that is not the case with this ability. It actually drains the runes every time, so it is vastly more expensive in runes. So I made some extra blood, death, and fire runes. You can see 25,000 fire runes, and the other runes I made is basically just for wiswax, maybe some arcs for nature runes. Actually on first try 91 runecrafting, let's make the sealed large rune pouch. And actually gives like 10,000 runecrafting experience, so not bad. And uh, I can't equip this it seems, but uh, yeah, I can just put runes in it. Maybe I can actually equip it when I have runes in it. Let's just try with a few. Put some runes in. And now I can wear it, nice. So it is in the ammo slot, so it's uh, only really going to lose me if I equip it. It saves one inventory space of course and it really just loses two prayer bonus from the quiver I would normally have. Casually doing a reaper assignment and I get an ascension signet one. Of course I already have a dual ascensions but I'm just really doing any keys to get like a third one or something. I don't know what I would use it for, probably put some uh, different perks on it or something. But uh, yeah, another signet. 140 tasks in a row, so we get 35 overall reaper points for that. Very nice. I'm only, uh, how much is that? 39 off another Hydrix. I will make that into an Amulet of Souls, so I can use that when I don't have to use my Essence of Finality. Guess we're doing 4 Araxor kills. Probably going to do a bit more than that. I want to try out the magic, the Exsanguinate spell on Araxor. As I want that Fang, I'm going to mage it anyways. Let's see how this goes. My kills were pretty slow, 5 minutes and 31, that was the slowest though, usually I got like 450, 430 some other time I think. But definitely worse than when I was using the other spells, but I think it's mostly because I'm not used to using the ability and getting the most value out of combust and all that. So I probably wasn't global capping, like using an ability as soon as I could always, and also using the essence of finality or a lot of things I'm not used to. But um, yeah, got the task done of course, and on 281 reaper points. Last loot is going to be some herbs, so nothing too great. And by the way, look at my large rune pouch. I started with 16,000 fire runes and just from 4 single Araxor kills that took me down to 13,400 fire runes. So as I said, a very expensive spell to use. Are these the first ones I've ever got? 
I think they are. I just got brawling gloves fire making from pickpocketing for super compost. They're apparently very rare on the drop table, by the way, so uh, I'm going to have to try these out. Basically how they work is the deeper you are in the wilderness, the more experience you get. And you can see the charge right there, only one per log. I'm going to get like a million experience for using these. Imagine just pickpocketing and basically getting like 1.3 million fire making experience from one pickpocket. Yeah, that's pretty much what Brawling Gloves is. I uh, just used up all the charges and I got two levels for it. Very nice. If I get like two more of those, I'm 99. What I've been doing is I've just been harvesting blood weeds from the wilderness now and then to make aggression potions and I am now using them or I just used pretty much all of them up on uh, farming. I'm AFKing Turoths and getting some farming experience casually because it is a skill I don't really enjoy that much at all and I'm getting a lot of components as well from having scavenging 2 on a augmented staff of light and overall from 5 hours of aggression potions I got 840 2000 farming experience so that is uh, now I only have to use a garden pie to boost for the fell stocks which uh, makes it a lot more convenient. Finally got that 300 points on an Araxor task. It would be very nice to get onyxes here because I don't have any to make the amulet of souls and it is not onyxes but uh, I'm actually going to do more Araxor kills I'm not going to show it if I don't get anything interesting because spider minions is now blocked so it is very easy magic kills. I think I'm at 120% on rage and I've never actually tried to go for 300% but with this gear and magic I think I should be able to do it and that is a good drop 8.7 million two onyxes had no onyxes I think I had one pheromone in the bank but uh, <laughs> I mean if it's not a leg piece or uh, a fang or something like that that's pretty much the best I could have got but yeah as I said I want to try to go for 300% see if I can do it should be able to 200% enrage completed as you can see in the chat it's still going pretty good let's see what loot we get for this enrage 300% should be fine and oh we get a leg piece Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I already have this one. I'm just doing bottom for easy runs. Let's have a look in the bank. I do have another spider leg bottom and actually a full spider leg as well. So it doesn't really matter that much. What? Oh my god, are you kidding me? No way. Two onyxes and an eye. And I already have the noxious staff? No, I'm I'm maging the boss to have a bigger chance of getting the let's look at the 300% uh, Okay, I'm not at 300% now. I'm at 280% I'm maging the boss to have a bigger chance to get the fang and I get the eye Oh my god on the bright side though, even though we got that duplicate 300% enrage done and it was easy to be honest I mean I have a lot of food left and stuff like that and it is easy because I have good gear like I just over gear this kind of and you can see there, I had 8,000 fire runes used from just this. And of course you get battle staves, but yeah, just from 0 to 300% uh, enrage took 8,000 fire runes with the Exsanguinate spell. I don't really have any good auras to use anymore, you can see here they're all on cooldown and doing a Raxor with no good aura is kind of annoying. So this is going to be the last loot and let's do something else now. Okay, so uh, ever since I came back to uh, RuneScape 3 on my Iron Man, I've been wanting to max and I'm slowly working towards doing that. Meanwhile doing a lot of PVMing because I, ju I just feel like PVMing is probably more interesting to have in the video. But then of course I have these highlights as well that when I do get that 99. So we're about to get 99 crafting done and now we won't get daily challenges for this skill anymore. I can disable that. And now without a boost, I can actually make the Amulet of Souls. So I'm going to go and spend these 300 Reaper points on a Hydrix. And now that we have 4 Onyxes from that Araxor grind, or the Araxor kills that I did, we can actually make the Amulet of Souls and I have a replacement for the Essence of Finality on bosses I don't need it. And uh, there we go, that is the Amulet of Souls made, so I have a replacement and it is 66.7 million. And that, how much is actually my account worth? 2.5 billion right now. Not too bad, I would say. I still have to do Reaper assignments every single day, just for the Hydrixes to recharge my Essence of Finality. And I got a Queen Black Dragon task, and why I wanted to talk about that is because it has a 1 in 200 chance of dropping a Black Dragon Egg, and that is the thing for player-owned farm. So uh, in 8 kills it's not very likely I'll get it, but that is the item we are looking for. Imagine getting the egg on the first loot. 
Ooh, could have been. Hey, I guess it's a drop. A Royal Bolt Stabilizer. 91k. Pretty much Hulk value. So, I guess that's some decent money. Last chance of getting that egg. I feel like uh, if you have a look... Ooh, look. There's an egg here. Let's imagine this is an egg. No. Stone Spirits. There's no way! A third spider leg bottom? By the way, I'm back to Iraq, so I just want to make the most out of the best paths being open. A third spider leg now in my bank of the same type. Oh, what? Dude, this is a joke. How is this possible? What? That's almost back to back. I did one kill in between. I have four spider leg bottoms now. Honestly, this has been ridiculous. This is the last kill I'm going to do. My aura is running out. Dude, if I get a spider leg bottom now, I'm actually going to be so mad. Okay, it's not. But um, no hilt either. But let's just pet chance this. 175. That's a 1 in 887 chance of getting the pet, as it says above. But um, yeah, 4 spider leg bottoms. What am I going to use all those for? Look at this. 4 spider leg bottoms. Well, I guess if I do the middle path and the top path, the spider minions and the acid one a lot of times and I get more spider leg pieces, I can make a lot of spider legs. Four. I mean, I don't even know what an Iron Man is going to do with that many spider legs. I guess you could disassemble them and make like a second staff for noxious components for biting. That is actually, well, now that I think about it, that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with that. But um, yeah, I would love a fang by now. I have a lot of, uh, well... I have a decent amount of Arax or KC, and having two eye drops is kinda meh. I mean, 386. Hopefully, I don't go to like 500 KC without getting the Fang. That would be kind of uh, discouraging. But um, yeah, at least I'm not going completely dry, getting nothing at all. But um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. If you did like the video, please leave a like. Also, subscribe if you want to see my future content. I'm actually close to 11.2k subscribers, I think. So, just like 10 more or something and I will get that. It's going to be pretty nice. But, uh, yeah. That's it for the video. Click any of the videos on the screen right now if you want to see more content. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.